Hello, this is the Lan Amsterdam Show broadcasting from Canada, and this is Battle of the Cowgirls. These girls are totally hot. Now, I've always found women to be trouble with a capital T, but uh, this is the kind of trouble you're going to like. Lan Amsterdam Show, now heard worldwide. Oh, won't you stay with me until the light goes dim? We can light a candle and laugh at the wind. It's a restless evening and I need a friend. Won't you stay with me until the darkness ends? There's plenty time to ponder where's my Tonight just wrap in your arms and please don't let me go Won't you stay with me until the morning's hot sunrise Then we'll pull the shades down low and begin another night Don't need to throw out fancy words like love or charity Just hold me close and think about the now and you and me Won't you stay with me, don't need Promises or lies Just the feel of your warm body And the violets in your eyes I want you to stay with me Until the light goes dim We can light a candle And laugh at the way It's a restless evening And I need a friend Won't you stay with me Until the Before in the history of Len Amsterdam's Battle of Bands, have we had a tie? 
Seems like both contenders will be moving on to the next round. Congratulations! Hello, you've reached the infamous Len Amsterdam from the Len Amsterdam Show. Heard and seen worldwide. Can I help you? Hello, Len. This is Lord Harry from Germany. Well, how are you doing, Lord Harry from Germany? I've been expecting your call. Right on schedule. Since you're a, a country music artist, do you think you might be able to start it all off with a uh, big ha from overseas? Well, I will give it my best shot, Len. Okay, folks. I know this is going to be a good one. Take it away, Harry. Yeah. That's twisted. Good one, Lord Harry. <laughs> Len, please, the questions. Okay, here we go. Why country music? Why country music? Hmm. Well, as a child, I hear Johnny Cash with the Ring of Fire. I could not understand what he said, but the sound touched me. From this moment on, I liked country music. I believe country music comes from the soul and pop music from the business. What makes for a good country song? A oh, good country song, Len, it's not easy to say, but I think the song must have a good story to tell and a catchy tune. What kind of music uh, do you like to listen to? I like to hear also rock music and punk and good love songs and, 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 in every way open if you take my meaning. Now you seem to be a big fan of American culture, uh, why is that? German mentality is not a topic for me. I was born in Germany, but in my head and heart I'm American. The people in America are more open and live so how I also find it to be good. The United States are a great nation. What do you think about the use of the Internet by independent musicians to promote their cause? It gives a lot of groups and country unions. There will you find German cowboys. In Germany is another music on the peak. <laughs> it's fine by me. Well, this has been the uh, debut appearance of uh, Lord Harry on the Len Amsterdam Hotline, and I would really recommend you check out the music of Lord Harry from Germany. And I hope uh, Lord Harry can come back often. You get the final word, Harry. Keep it country and Heinz Ketchup. I love it. It's America. Rain goes bright in the morning. It's a wonderful place to be here to be free. Rainbow light on my side, feel alright in the whole land. Yeah, stars and stripes, that's alright in the USA. Rainbow light on my side, feel alright in the homeland. Yeah, stars and stripes, that's alright in the USA. Fairy tale of my life, it's again every morning. It's a wonderful land. To be here to be safe Rainbow light on my side Feel alright in the homeland Yeah, stars and stripes That's alright in the USA Rainbow light on my side Feel alright in the homeland that's all right in the USA Here's a bird of the law 
Look around and move on It's a wonderful place It's a USA Rainbow light on my side Be alright in the homeland Yeah Stars and stripes That's alright in the USA Rainbow light on my side Be alright in the homeland Yeah Stars and stripes That's alright in the USA Who is this country songwriter? He was a successful recording artist, stage performer, actor, author, songwriter, and stark car racer. His versatile baritone enabled him to handle a wide variety of musical styles, making him one of the more successful crossover artists during the 50s and 60s. His career started in 1947, and he soon had his own radio and television shows on KPHO in Phoenix. On September 27, 1948, he married Marizana Baldwin. They had two children, Ronnie and Jeanette. His uh, big break came in 1951 when Jimmy Dickens guest on his TV show. A number of his hits were all self-penned, including A White Sport Coat and a Pink Carnation, El Paso, You Gave Me a Mountain, My Woman, My Woman, My Wife. Who is this country songwriter? Marty Robbins, Len Amsterdam Show, now heard worldwide. You're listening to a Pepper Scott Indie Band Showcase, recorded as live as it gets at JP's Roadhouse in Newcastle, Ontario.
You're tuned into the Lenny Amsterdam Show, and this is Open Mic Live. Got uh, the Lone Ranger uh, on the line here. Uh, hey, Lone, can you tell me a little bit about your tribute to the Lone Ranger? Hooked up with a, another songwriter via the the name that I logo name that I'm using, the the Lone Ranger, and I was using the uh, actual picture of the old Lone Ranger TV series, and uh, a, a lady uh, songwriter stopped by, uh, Kathy. And she had written a song called High Old Silver Away. And she said, that this song would be perfect uh, for me to sing. It kind of fit the, uh, the gimmick that I was uh, uh, going for. And I listened to it, and I thought, well, that song could be just a little bit better. And the fact that, as I remember as a kid, listen to them say, High Old Silver Away. And that just wasn't the way the song was originally cut. So, uh, Kathy, uh, give me a liberty to... Uh, Add a, add a few more lines to the song and to rewrite the chorus just a little bit. And when I got got it all finished, I sent it out to her and she said she loved it. She said it was great. So I'd like to uh, give that one a spin here for you. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> When I was just a little boy eating Cheerio while watching TV, a masked man and an Indian were about a pair to see. In the wild west, he rode a fiery horse with the speed of light. He and his faithful wind All together they would ride this inseparable pair. The masked rider of the western plains was bringing justice everywhere with a hearty high old silver away. Together they would rescue anyone. Anyone in despair You could always count on the chemo sobbing And talk to the feet right there Well, the visions on the TV screen Have long since faded away Yet in the sunset of my memory I still see a bright All together they would ride this inseparable pair. The fast rider of the western plain was bringing justice everywhere with a hearty high old silver away. This is the old Lone Ranger here signing off for this evening. Just want to remind y'all, every evening here about 8 p.m., stop by Lynn's place here at Pal Talk 
Everyone's invited, you're, but you got to bring your own booze, folks, and none of that hard liquor, because we want you to be able to stand up and get them songs out and sing them out here for everybody real pretty. But till next time, it's the old Lone Ranger signing off. Y'all have a good evening. Play me some good old country blues. That will get my soul to move. When I close my eyes and kick off my shoes. Good old country blues When I get tired All my days worry Body sends a message to brain Has to relax Rebuild the energy before Proceeding again It needs good old country blues I will get my soul to move When I close my eyes and kick off my shoes I need good old country blues In the rain, there's one guarantee for that down to earth coolness. Listen and hear me say, Play me some good old country blues. I will get my soul to move when I close my eyes and kick off my shoes. I need good old country blues. Play me some good old country blues That will get my soul to move When I close my eyes Kick off my shoes I need good old country blues When I close my eyes and Kick off my shoes I need good old country
find in this fishing ground. I'm a little north of the river, super just like it upside down. Hey, this is Len Amsterdam from Canada. All musicians can appreciate the tremendous hard work that's put into making music. Uh, for some, that hard work is very well rewarded. For others, it does not turn out so well. Mike Smith was the lead singer and therefore the heart and soul of the Dave Clark Five. The Dave Clark Five was making a comeback in 2003 with the renewed interest of British Invasion music. Mike Smith had a terrible fall off a ladder at his home in September 2003 and broke his neck. It left him paralyzed from the neck down. Through the years he had seen very little of the money made by the Dave Clark Five and Mike relies on donations to keep him going. The Dave Clark Five brought me much joy growing up, so I'm asking you all to send a donation to help out an awesome musician. 
if you want to make a contribution to Mike's fund or if you want to send him a greeting card or a written letter, send them through Peter Noon, marked for Mike Smith. The address is Noon Records, that's N-O-O-N-E, 1187 Coast Village Road, number 525, Santa Barbara, California, USA, 931 08. If you're on the web, I know the place you should go. It's called the Land Amsterdam Radio Show. He plays country music, he plays rock and roll. A little bit of rap and some reggae and a whole lot of soul. So if you want good music, the way it should be, take a little advice from an old cowboy like me. Hi, this is Clay Pierce coming at you, telling you if you want to listen to some good music, log on to Lynn Amsterdam's radio show. Give him a listen. It's worth it, man. Way to go, Lynn. You can come. It's Lynn Amsterdam from Canada. Hey, Lynn. It's Shelly from Red River calling in to do an exclusive interview for the Lynn Amsterdam show. Very exclusive on my dad, Shell. Let's start this off with a... Uh, Big American cowgirl, yee-haw. Mm, I don't think so, Lynn. Well, what's up with that? Uh, are you giving me attitude? Well, you've done that routine on the show before, and, you know, frankly, the Red River Wolf would make for a better effect. Well, I don't know about that. I've seen the Red River Wolf, and the name sounds ferocious, but it's, it's, it's only a little dog. Oh, well. Go ahead, Josie. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. How did he get that dog to talk? <laughs> I think it's that fresh country air. Now, Red River is a, a duo, and uh, the other half of the duo is uh, David. Shelley, can you talk a little bit about this main collaborator of yours? Well, we're married, which is great um, for getting together to work on music because we're both here. David's written songs all his life. I'm kind of a novice, but I do okay sometimes. Who's the leader of the uh, band? Well, I'll tell you, Len. Um, one half of the team has the talent, and the other half does radio interviews. So um, I guess I'll leave that to you to figure out which one is which. I write some decent songs sometimes. And I go in and I lay down my vocal tracks. And then David takes over and he does all the hard work. He plays all the instruments because um, I'm really a bad guitar player. Um, he does all the arrangements and the mixing. So I never know how a song's going to turn out, but, boy, I think they've all turned out great. Who is your major musical influence? Actually, my major influence was my best friend. Um, she was in a band with her brother and some other people. And she was great, by the way. Um, this was in junior high, so um, it was back at a time when country was definitely not cool. Uh, I was after her all the time to teach me some chords on the guitar, and she finally was nice enough to do it. Uh, I'd saved up my pennies, and I bought a guitar at a record store. I couldn't even tell you what kind of guitar it was. All I remember is that it was red. Hey, red. And I know the first song I ever learned how to play was a Merle Haggard song. Um, I practiced my chords and my fingers got really sore, but I finally learned how to play a song. So anyway, to get back to your question in a roundabout way, it was my friend Alice and then it was Merle Haggard who influenced me. Of course, there's some other people like Buck, um, God rest his soul, and Ray Price. Wow, that really brings back memories. 
Um, I'm not a big fan of the country that's on the radio now. I like Alan Jackson, and I love George Strait, and some other songs are good. Um, but I guess my heart really is in that old traditional country. David, on the other hand, um, his roots are in rock music. His heroes are people like Bob Dylan, Paul McCartney, Brian Wilson, guys like that. So when we combine our styles, I think the songs come out a little bit different because we have such diverse of influences. And that's cool. That's what makes Red River. How did Stay With Me come together? I was trying to write a song one night, and I thought I had a good idea, but nothing was working out. So I said, the heck with this. I'm going to put on some Buck Owens music, and I'm going to sit back and just relax and enjoy the music. And after a while, I kind of got inspired, so I just started strumming some chords, and I was channeling Buck, and Stay With Me was the end result. It was a one-take demo, and it really wasn't meant to be a recording, but it turned out it had a life of its own, so we just went with it. That's why the song is so short, but a lot of people seem to like it, so hey. Where do you get your storylines from? A lot of my songs are snapshots of my life, and then a lot of them are just from my imagination. But I like putting something of myself into almost every song I write. Um, it's kind of hard for me to speak for my better half, but what I see is that David is more of a concept writer as opposed to me, who just writes straight storylines. I guess I would compare it to being outside in the middle of a storm. He would write about the feel of being in that moment, and I would write a background story to go with the storm. Can you talk a little bit about your family life? We've got five kids between us, and they're all off on their own adventures now. So we have our two toddlers, um, Red River Wolf, also known as Josie, and her brother Bob, and we call him Guitar Cat. They keep life interesting for us. Anybody who has a pet knows about that special connection you have with them. They're really our babies. Other than that, we have our day jobs like everybody else, but our music is what keeps things interesting. Can we expect to see some Red River uh, product in our local music stores sometime soon? We're going to put out our first CD this spring. It's kind of exciting. It's something we've worked toward for a long time. Um, we don't know if anything will come of it, but it's just something we need to do um, to maybe leave some kind of imprint that shows we were here and maybe we had something to offer. We don't really have stars in our eyes, but if somebody likes our stuff, that's great. And Who knows? Everybody starts someplace, so here we are. Well, Shell, we're coming to a close. Is there anything you'd like to ask Len Amsterdam from Canada? You know, I do have a question for you, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to do that. Um, I was wondering, is Len Amsterdam your real name, or maybe you're just on the lam from a big radio cartel? That's a real shocking question you're asking there, Shell. Let's ask the dog. Hey, Josie, what's my real name? <laughs> well, there you go. I hope that answered your question. Line Amsterdam Show is pleased to present Red River.
I did one more thing, Len. I want to thank you on behalf of Red River for all the support and exposure you've given us. You are truly the indie artist's best friend, and we really do appreciate it. Thanks, Len. This is Morris B. Rainville telling you that Len Amsterdam doesn't have record company consultants telling him what to play. He plays a wide variety of music people love to hear. You're presently listening to The Len Amsterdam Show. Big Mom.
shame for fear control the person I knew I could be Too big a step to take from all the misery Till I met you, my sign of hope You've shown me more love than I've ever known my one wish has at last come true Just to go stop me Until I met you Is a band that is getting some major buzz. And all the hype is rooted in just cause. You have to know that positive forces are alive and well in the universe when good musicians come together from many corners of Mother Earth with the simple, simple cause of spreading hope to all the good people lending an ear. Len Amsterdam Show presents The Collaborators. The Collaborators. The Collaborators.
Lexi Green from the UK in her kitchen. I just want to say a huge thank you to the Len Amsterdam show for playing my songs. Now come on Len, get some music on because I've got some housework to do. Dam Vera Lynn was born uh, March 20th, 1917. She was a uh, British singer whose career flourished during the Second World War. She is best known for the songs We'll Meet Again and The White Cliffs of Dover. She was nicknamed the Force's Sweetheart. The following song is a, a tribute to Vera Lynn by the lovely Vonnie Rose, and it's called Vera.
two cowboys are out on the range on uh, one starry night talking about their favorite ways to have sex. One cowboy says to the other, have you ever had rodeo sex? The other cowboy says, ain't heard of that one. What is it? First cowboy replies, well, you get down on all fours and you mount her from behind. Then you reach around and cup her breasts and you whisper in your ear, boy, these feel just like your sisters and see how long you can hold on. I hear the train coming, it's rolling around the bend. Man, I ain't seen the sunshine since. I don't know when, cause I'm stuck in holes in prison. As I keep dragging it on. And I hear that lonesome whistle. It down the sand and tone. When I was just a baby. My mama told me, son, always be a good boy. Don't ever play with gun, but I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. When I hear that lonesome whistle, I hang my head in.
Hey, Cliff, can you tell that salad story? That That's a hoot. She looked at my son and said, uh, would you like some more salad? And he said, yeah. And she says, would you like to have some cheese? And uh, and uh, he said, yeah. And then she looked over at me, and I said, no. And I made a walking motion with my fingers. Uh, and then a trip and fall sign, like, ka-thump, ka-thump. And she busted out laughing, and she was laughing so hard, she couldn't even hardly work for the next five minutes. Ka-thump. Cuff-bump, cuff-bump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this is fun, i got to tell you. Okay, we're, uh, we're about to have Linda speak to you here. So uh, let's have uh, Linda introduce Mr. Moe. Introducing Mr. Moe, whoever he is. Mo, Mo is P. Ranville out of uh, Canada. Oh, that's a Canadian guy. That Mo. That Mo. The Canadian guy. Right. See, if he's if he's gone, he ain't here no Mo. That's true. That's true. That's right. Okay. All right, Mo. Here it is. It's yours. This is Mo, the Canadian guy, speaking. What would you like to hear? 
I'd like to say that I really enjoyed that song by the Bullets. That was great. Yeah, that was a good song there, um, Mr. Bullet. Um, how are you all doing tonight? I, I'll tell you what, I got one here. Since Linda's captive here in my room, do you guys want to hear me and Linda do a song? That would be very cool. All right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this one together. So give me a second, okay? But I'm gonna I'm gonna put the uh, mic on lock. So give me just a second. And we'll we'll get it done. You do then. Okay. Now, are you ready to do this? I'm ready. Uh, hey, Cliff and Linda. I know that sounds like fun, but we are catering to a, a family audience. Anyways, folks, uh, make sure you're checking out Len Amsterdam Open Mic Live. Well, all right. I'm going to do a number right now by somebody that was actually a friend of mine, and he used to uh, start his television show back in the 60s with this song, uh, and he opened all of his live performances with this song. Uh, it's by the late Ernest Tubb called Walking the Floor. Walking the floor over you. I can't sleep a wink, that is true I'm hoping and I'm praying as my heart breaks right in two Walking the floor over you You left me and you went away And you said you'd be back in just a day But you've broken all your promises and left me here alone don't know why you did you, but I do know that you're gone So I'm walking the floor over you I can't sleep a wink, that is true I'm hoping and I'm praying as my heart breaks right in two Walking the floor over you Now darling, you know that I love you well And I love you more than I can ever tell I thought you wanted me and that you'd always be mine But you went away and left me here with troubles on my mind So I'm walking the floor over you mm, I can't sleep a wink, that is true I'm hoping and I'm praying as my heart breaks right in two While I'm walking the floor over you Now someday you'll be lonesome too Find that walking the floor is good for you Just keep right on walking and it won't hurt you to cry Remember that I love you dear and will until I die So I'm walking the floor over you mm, I can't sleep a wing, that is true I'm hoping and I'm praying as my heart breaks right in two Walking the floor over you Yes, I'm walking the floor over you I can't sleep a wink, that is true I'm hoping and I'm praying as my heart breaks right in two Walking the floor over you Walking the floor over you uh -huh, I'm walking the floor over you Hey, this is Trash Talking DJ from Canada. Here's one crazy SOB out of Texas. Uh, one Ken O'Shine. A couple tunes here. Texas Nightlife, Southern Male Syndrome, and you can have her. Well, I worked real hard down at the lumber yard and head home for a cup of the brew. Turn on ESPN and try to settle in to see what's happening in the sporting news. Then my wife sits down with sort of a frown and she changes the channel too. Says this will broaden your mind, but hell, it just ain't time for the Cowboys and her quality too. Well, I'm totally confused. Now what's the Southern Mail to do? But she's got PMS, I got SMS, that's Southern Male Syndrome, I'm telling you. She just looks at me like I'm crazy, but I don't know what her do hair do. 
Well, I totally confused. Hell, I ain't got a clue. I have another fear and think it through. If I get in a headache, oh, shit. Drag me out of bed on Saturday morning to go shopping and a whole lot more. As she's looking through dresses, I'm afraid to confess that I'm longing for the hardware store. She says we're going to spend more of this quality time, that I'll be glad when I think it through. But what I really think is ain't it getting late? I know the star game's all too. I'm totally confused. Now what's a southern male to do? When she's got PMS, I got SMS. That's southern male syndrome, I'm telling you. She just looks at me like I'm crazy when I don't notice her do hair do. Well, I'm totally confused till I ain't got a clue. I have another fear and think it through. But I'm totally confused What's a southern male to do? When she's got PMS, I've got SMS That southern male syndrome, I'm telling you She just looks at me like I'm crazy When I don't know her do hair do well, I'm totally confused, hell, I ain't got a clue I'll have another beer and think it through well, I'm totally confused, hell, I ain't got a clue I'll have another beer and think it through Cause you didn't like this and you didn't 
the debut edition of 20 Country. It's Lynn Amsterdam from Canada. Let's get her done. <laughs> 